Okay. Wish we didn't have to go. I like having a house again. Come on. Let's hit the road. What about my traps? Should we leave them up? <laughs> Don't protect the next runaways to stay here. I put both you in charge of the house mushroom. <laughs> so long.
We made it, Daniel. It's been a long time since I was here. When was that? Before you were born. Come here. Let me check you out. Claire likes everything super clean. Dad said she got pissed because he let me bring a snowball in the house. We don't want to look like total pigs. What if they went on vacation? Or, or something? We'll figure out something. I'm sorry, we don't want any of... Hello, Claire. Sean? Oh, my. Is that... Daniel? What's going on out here? I heard... Look who's here! After all this time. What the hell are you doing here? Stephen, watch your mouth. Well... It's kind of a long story. <coughs> oh, you poor thing. You know he's sick, right? Yeah, but... Okay, inside. Both of you. Is it uh, warm enough for you? Oh, yeah. Feels nice and toasty. I gave Daniel some cough medicine, but you should have taken better care of him. He could have been worse. You were lucky. Stephen, may I talk to you for a second? Did I make a mistake coming here? Stephen, what are we going to do? I... I don't, uh, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we should call Gus. Feels so awkward to be here. I'm not sure it's a good idea. Do we really want to involve other people? officer was killed, Claire, you know? Our grandchildren are wanted by the police for murder. I know. What if Sean is guilty? Sleeping in our home. Next to us. Let's, let's just ask him what happened. Then we'll figure something out. Okay? All right, Stephen. Are you all right, honey? You want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, well, Sean, uh, do you want to talk about... Uh, uh... The police called us a few weeks ago. They're looking for you as suspects in a homicide and for assault and robbery in a gas station. 
Now, if you want us to help you, did you hurt that police officer in Seattle? No, that's fucking bullshit. I never touched the guy. No, don't, don't get mad, Sean, we have to ask. We only know what we saw in the news. All I know is that he shot dead. And now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. We are so sorry for what happened to your father, but why did you run away if you're innocent? We had no choice. The cops would have blamed me for everything. I know it. Well, Sean, now the police do blame you. You know the police would separate us. Maybe forever. Daniel would end up in foster care. Uh, you, you can't be sure, Sean. Anyway, at least you've managed to come here alive. We're glad you two are okay. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need to think of long-term solutions now. I tried. I swear. But I can't do everything. So... What are your plans? Go down to Mexico, to Puerto Lobos. Dad has a family house there. Sean, you can't run away from the law like, like fugitives. How can you look out for your brother if you're both running from the police? You two are gonna stay with us. Oh, Stephen. Maybe we should... After your mother left, your dad never really wanted us in your life. I can't blame him. But you're still part of our family, and we want to prove it, okay? Whoa, really? Uh... Uh, aren't you scared? The police already called you. Lordy, yes. But we're also scared for you. That's why you'll have to be careful around here. Beaver Creek is small and nosy. We can stay? Serious? Awesome! Ooh, Sean, guess what? There's a huge model train upstairs. Hey! You're supposed to be resting, young man. <laughs> yeah, yes he is. But he seems better already. Anyway, you and Daniel will stay here. At least until Daniel's better. We'll see what happens next. So, I bet you're hungry. Let me fix you something. How do you feel, Superwolf? Way better. It's nice and warm in here. And the food? Yum. Yeah. Feels good. Feeling better? You look cozy. Yeah. I love that bed. Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. I'm way better now. You still need to take it easy. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? Why? Sean says heaven isn't even real. Now, boys, that's not very polite. We always say a prayer at bedtime. Always. Sorry, Claire. We didn't mean it like that. We just 
never had to go to church. Oh, I see. Well, I can still say a prayer for my grandchildren. Thank you, Lord, for bringing Sean and Daniel safe and sound into our house. Please give us the strength to get over the hardships of the past and the trials yet to come. Okay, it's bedtime. Try to get some rest. You still need it. And no roughhousing in here. No worries. We're too tired. Good night. Oh, and thanks again. Good night, Grandma. It feels so nice to have a bed again. And the bathroom. I hear that. <laughs> Plus, you don't smell anymore. Whatever. Well, that prayer thing was pretty weird. I really hope we'll be okay here. I think so. And the more important thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean? Are we in Mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. But it's been a while. Could we check it out tomorrow? Maybe find some of her stuff? No way, Daniel. We didn't come here to dig into the past. But I want to see what kind of stuff she had. Just curious. Daniel, she left us. She's gone. She's nothing. It's just us. You understand? Yeah. Uh, I guess. Hey, man. You've been doing so great with your... Well, you know. I was wondering, how do you do it? Uh, I don't know. I concentrate and it just happens. So, it makes you feel strong? Like, special and mighty? I don't think that. I don't know how I feel. Why are you asking? Never mind. Just curious. Forget I asked anything. Anyway, remember the rules, right? We really don't want Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. I know, I know. Don't show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind and everything should be fine. Sleep tight, little cub. I could sleep all day long in this bed, but I'm way too hungry.
can't believe we actually spent a month out there by ourselves and survived. Pretty badass. Get dressed before you go, dude. Claire thinks breakfast is like a job interview. That's cool, Claire dug this up for us. That's such a baller in his suit. Wonder if Brody notices Hula Girl was missing. <laughs> 